Hey everyone, it's Joy here and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a really fantastic day. So for my project today, I'm using Reverse Confetti's Extra Cover Panel Die to make a quick and simple shaker card. So here's that die and I have die cut that from some white cardstock and we're gonna get to making the body of this shaker card and then we'll add a few more elements at the end. But like I said, this is quick and simple. I'm gonna add some liquid glue around the edges. Then I have a piece of A2 size uh, or, uh, acetate <laughs> and I'm adhering that down with just the tiniest bit of liquid glue. You could also use a tape runner. Um, if you're gonna do liquid glue, just be very sparingly because it takes a second to dry and you don't want it to squish into your openings of where you're gonna be putting your confetti. Then I have my foam tape that I have dub doubled up and trimmed down and I'm gonna place it around all of the edges. Then I'm also going to place it across the centers between each rows of these eggs. I wanna do that because I, when I put my shaker material in, I don't want it to be all at the bottom. I want it to be in each layer of eggs. I thought that would be a really fun way to make the shaker card. So again, the same doubled up foam tape, I'm placing all the foam tape around. Be sure to make sure all of your foam tape touches each other where it intersects because you do not want your little shaker pieces to fall out. So again, I'm just putting it in between the lines here. So each row is gonna have its own little shaker bits. Using a die like this makes it so super simple to create a shaker card. When I got this stuff from Reverse Confetti and I saw this die, I thought that's one of the first things I thought would be, this was perfect for a shaker die. I'm taking my powder tool and just kind of going around the edges. That's why I kept all the release paper on top because I want to make the edges of the foam tape not sticky, but I need the tops to stay sticky. So I didn't want that sticky because I'm putting in all of these little confetti pieces and I really don't want them sticking to the tape. Now this is Studio Katya's Glitter Rainbow Dots. And then I found in my stash these cute little open white hearts that I thought I would put that in. So I'm just putting a good amount in each one of these little rows. I'm gonna make sure it's kind of all, all the pieces are inside and cleaned off and then I can remove the release paper and add my white A2 size card panel behind it. I'm also going to adhere this to a white A2 size card base at the, done, at the end when I'm all done and finished. So here is my A2 size piece. I'm gonna remove all of this release paper and then I'm gonna put this in my Misty. And I remember one of my viewers, and I can't remember who it was, was like, hey, put this in your Misty to line up your back piece of your card panel to your shaker panel, if that makes sense. It makes it easier to line up straight because I would always have a hard time lining it up straight. And right here, I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> bring in the Misty. So I'm gonna bring in my Misty, put that down in the corner here, and then I can just easily line up and kind of see where the edge is to put my card panel. And now we've got this great little shaker. Look at all those little bits inside there. I think it is so, so cute. Okay, so I am using the Better With Friends stamp set from Reverse Confetti. All of these products are from their new release that just came out this month. And I'm gonna stamp one of the cute little bunnies and then the little bumblebee. I'm keeping it really simple because again, it's kind of all about the shaker card. I'm using white cardstock. I stamped it with some Copic Friendly ink. I'm using Honeybee Stamps black ink. I think, it's their, I think it's called the Intense Black Ink. And then I'm using Copic markers. So for the cute little bumblebee here, I'm using YG000, zero, 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 four zeros, YO2, and then C6 and eight for the black, and the other, the other color was the yellow. And then BG11 for his little wings with my blender pen to kind of um, soften that and blend it out a little bit. Then I have E37, 35, and 33 for this cute little bunny. And what I like about Reverse Confetti's little critters, these little critters are a good size, so they're a lot of fun to color. And I, I don't know, I love coloring these little critters, and I thought this cute little brown bunny would just be so fun. So I laid down the R37, then I blended with the R35 out a little further, and now I'm taking the R, or excuse me, I'm saying R, E, E37, E35, and then E33 at the end to blend it all. If you guys have been following me for any amount of time, you know I do this twice. For me, I like this blend. So again, I'm coming back in with that R37 and adding the shadow, 
Then the R35, I'm gonna blend out just a little bit further. And then the R33 is going to blend everything together. And then I'm gonna add the E33. I don't know why I'm in the R's, you guys. The E33, I'm gonna add a little bit to this little bunny's tail. I'm doing RV10 for the ears and the nose, and a little bit of that E33 at the base of his ears, and then going back over it with that pink. Blending out that tail just a little bit. Then I'm gonna be using the coordinating dies to die cut out these cute little images. I'm gonna tape those in place with some low tack tape and then run that through my die cut machine and then we can just get this card kind of finished. And it's really super quick, super simple, super easy. I wanna stamp my sentiment and this is from the Springtime Sentiments from Reverse Confetti. I'm just using this on some white cardstock with some black ink. I thought about doing a different color ink, but I just really love that glitter rainbow dots, all the glitter rainbow dots that I put in for the shaker bits. And I really didn't want to compete with that, so I kept it very simple with this black sentiment. Now I decided I'm gonna pop up all of these images and the sentiments with foam tape. And so I'm just gonna place this bunny here at the bottom like he's standing kind of on that frame. What I like about this this frame it has like the double stitch lines around the edge so it's really quite decorative so i'm going to place him there add some foam tape behind the sentiment put that in place and then that cute little bumblebee right at the top i'm going to put him down and then i'm going to come in with my black glaze pen and my white gel pen to add a few details i want to just say guys if you like what you've seen if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell and hit all so you don't miss any of my videos please definitely comment because i really do love hearing what you have to say and i love chatting with you guys like and share with your crafty friends i would really appreciate that it is so super helpful and um yeah so i just wanted to, to ask you to do that if you like it okay so i'm just going to finish here i'm letting the glaze the black glaze pin dry on the eyes before i add the little white dots because you don't want that to mix and smear and now we've got this great shaker card i love how this turned out and like i said it is quick and simple and easy super super easy to do i want to thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching thank you for all of your support Thank you for always taking your time to watch my videos and I will see you guys soon. Bye.